Welcome guys, this is part number two. Remember, if you haven't seen our first video, go ahead and check it out. Then get comfy and see this. So let's walk into your fashion studio. This is not the same kind of blue on the sky but I hope that you understand what I'm saying that okay let's say I am going to start a collection and I'm sourcing my inspiration images okay and I found this one is a Jason Pollock mural from 1943 so let's pretend that we are going to do a collection and I choose this image as my inspiration image. So we need to develop our color chips. Just then I would proceed with that image near me at my working area and I will just start mixing the colors for the purpose of the video. I am going to keep working on this same paper. I don't want to create more trash for this planet and I'm going to use the same palette that I've been using since the beginning of this video so here we go I'm going to clean my brush thoroughly until I have no trace whatsoever from that blue after I'm done washing and soaking my brush here you need to change this water we need clear water alrighty bye bye and I have more water in this container which is clear and clean now analyzing the colors the first one that I am going to work is yellow remember we are using wash we need that texture to be really smooth opaque and we need wash for that so this is very bright but I might need it so I'm going to start putting a little bit of each of my yellows in my palette All right, I have two specific kinds of yellow here. going to remove the excess paint that I have from this brush this brush is really thin it's not going to work properly to make my swatches so I am going to use my flat brush just the same way that I explained the beginning of the video so here's my flat brush and I'm going to take the majority of the paint from this mixture saturate my brush and yellow is a very difficult color not to obtain streaks or any kind of different peel and I'm going to start making my swatches and not overworking it that is very important I'm going to leave it
I had this color on my little containers which seems like it can work pretty well as the base of one of the pink tones that I am seeing on the artwork so I'm gonna try that right now so the good thing about wash is that it lasts a long time and I just put a little bit of water into this cup and it's reviving that color instantly It is definitely lighter in the image, so I'm going to reach out for some white. that green I am going to take advantage of the yellow that I already have I am going to add turquoise blue And I'm going to show you a cool trick instead of marking and measuring and all that trouble once you have your first swatch take that swatch and use it as like a little pattern to see if you can get a nice chip from this swatch for example maybe not that way but maybe this way I can go around it with a pencil once I have my lines drawn then I can proceed with my sacto knife and cut it out I promised that I was going to explain why do we go through all the trouble of making several swatches of each color to get the perfect one then to cut it out why do we do that at designer level many times fabrics are dyed to a specification so you need to have this in order to get your fabrics dyed
So now you know all the trouble that you need to go through to get beautiful color swatches like this. For a professional work, you would mix a larger amount and then fill up your containers. What I do is have all my collection colors pre-mixed so then you can render your collection with the exact same color and your collection presentation looks seamless. We'll talk about the importance of that in a later video when we talk about a collection and all the elements needed to convey your fashion message. Sometimes I use this technique of pre-mixing my skin tones. The skin tones that I am going to be using for several collections. That way, when I render an entire collection, that saves me a lot of time. All right, this wraps up our series on color shifts. Thank you for watching both videos. Remember to subscribe to our videos. We have tons, tons of fashion videos coming your way.